bad, man. Real quick, real quick. Let's do a quick Gary check. Let's check that you have Gary on deck. Let's go. That's what's up. So the Gary is here. Let's go. Gary, straight from the sauce. Standard. Let's go. <laughs> and what about worst case scenario? There's no sugar inside the house. Are you are you adding salt or not? God forbid. <laughs> are you kidding me? So like, like I'm not drinking Gary at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to starve. By the time I'm done. Yeah. In this industry, I'm going down as a legend, no cap. Because let's go. But bro, I used to start classes to make peace, man. <laughs> <laughs> I used to start classes. People used to yell me and I'm like, ah, your piece are sounding like ground nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I can't drink Gary that's not cool though. Even with if that. I mean if I live in Antarctica, if my Gary's not cool, it's not possible. If I don't have ice, I don't have to put snow inside. <laughs> <laughs> now you put this snow inside your Gary, I'm crying. Yo, 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 what's good, what's good, what's good, beautiful people? It's your boy Mano, aka Power Fappy. Welcome back again to the channel. And I'm sure you just saw the intro. I have my new series coming back onto my Iman Owini channel. Definitely don't want to miss this out. This one's called Talking Gary With, where I sit down with big prospects in the industry and get to document their early beginnings and make projections into the future, okay? Now, one mission I'm on with this series is to find the person that can compromise. I'm looking for people that can compromise. And I'm going to ask this question to you guys or to all my gary soaking brothers and sisters out there man what's case scenario there's no sugar in sight what are you doing are you are you one of those people are you one of those people that are, are tapping into that salt life or no you're just gonna push away from gary entirely because you're not hearing salt sorry gary i'm curious leave your comments in the comment section okay i'm just here to play devil's advocate i'm trying to see what's up okay all right so let's about gary Sokins right now we're about to get into buju's new record outside buju's on a massive run man buju is like I i'm still going back to the time where buju was just that guy on the kino just a just a freestyle on the kino and now he's he's out here uh, damn near an, a household name right now having three of the biggest records on on apple music We'd definitely love to see and witness the come up um in this guy's career man um this one is called outside okay and uh, we already know um just from the name itself it's saying something so now for those of you that may not know buju was initially signed to brenner boy spaceship record label and um he was there for a year um put out i think maybe three songs under that label he had the Lenny remix, he had So Lonely, and I think that was about it. That was about it that he did within that year span with um, with uh, Berna. So he couldn't put out a lot of material within the year, and I feel like that was, that was one of those things that kind of pressured um, Buju to leave the lit record label and not renew his contract. And um, it's obvious, man. It's obvious that he felt contained in, in, the, in that space. Hence why the cover art. I was looking at the cover art as I pulled this up. The cover art looks like... Okay, let's just move to the cover art right now. The cover art looks like he's in, he's in the box. Okay? And it feels like he's being contained, that he just wants to be outside of it. And like, and speaking volumes already, just from the name and the, and the, and the cover art. Because... The name as well is also kind of cheeky because Brenner's whole thing is outside. Like, he's an outsider. All his fans are called outsiders. His album also was called Outside. And um, so it's it's a nice play of words too. And I'm I'm hoping that that's what, that's the direction that this song is going towards. Um, it's obviously not going to be a diss record to Brenner. I don't think they have any, I don't think there's any animosity left after his departure from um, Spaceship. Um, he, Bernard doesn't want spaceship, okay. So if if Buju is having beef with anyone, it won't be with Bernard. Um, but at the end of the day, man, Buju is moving on with his career, and um, we just love to see the wins after this, man. We love to see the wins. Um, yes. So right now, let's get into this record called Outside. Okay. Those nice synths already. You can hear the. The chillness already. Hey, let's go. Mm. Let's go with those rounds, man. All right. Hey. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I know this song was going to be about confidence, man. It's supposed to be about like this is who I am. This who the this I savvy this thing. I know this, this is the entire song is gonna be a flex because he's go he's winning right now and it's just this just the icing on the cake, man. This is his era. This is his time. Um, every everyone is singing my songs, the my melodies are in your are in your heads. Like he's gonna come here with that with that statement to say, oh this is this is who I am, and it's it's just that kind of like um inspirational kind of direction that he's taking here and I, I you can definitely tap into it man very inspiring stuff for yeah hey okay Oh, there's this mm, relaxing nature of and very soothing nature of his voice, man. He has a very unique voice, actually. He he has this like it's almost like he's slurring his words, but he's saying it in such a way. Like uh, he his voc his vocals sound nasal. They do sound nasal, but it's like but he somehow delivers it in such a soothing, calming way. Uh, and this particular hook, he's even saying like when I give them badu, they blow their mind. Something about they can't see me outside because I'm I'm in the trenches. I'm working. I'm putting in the work. So yeah, man, I, I just I just like the message he's coming with on this one so far, man. They walk at a grind. For my mind. Hey. Uh-huh. It's chill. This is so chill, man. Hey. Hey. He's so his hooks are so catchy too, man. His hooks, his melodies are so strong and punching already. Like, just from that first run of the hook, I can see where, like, the meat of the song is. Like, it's very, very simple to the... Like, it's it's it, the structure is so simple and it's so well-primed for, to, like, Nigerian markets. You know, he, he knows the people he's singing to. He knows he knows what works. The song structure is very, very... It's, it's very, very simple and it's not over-calculated. It's not, it's not doing too much and his direction there is... He's just doing his job, man. He's just doing his job at the end of the day. <laughs> hey. 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 It says they forgive you if you get issues, man. Hey. Uh -huh. I love this run, man. Hey, 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 come on, let's go. If they blow down mine, hey, let's go. Let's go, let's go, come on. Mm. I didn't grind, man, let's go. Hey, you can't see me outside, man. Oh, man, we need to go outside right now, man. We, might, we don't stay inside for too long. <laughs> hey. You know they can't see me outside. Cause me a day, they grind? Hey. 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 Nah, this is smooth. This is smooth, bro. This is smooth. Calm. 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 Let's go. Hey. Hey. What? Mmm. Ah, this is a simple record, man. It's it's just ah, you can hit those guitar, okay? Okay, guitar. Hey, 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 hey. Mmm. Oh shit, eh? Hey, get down, get down. I love this. I love this. I love this, man. Ah, that was calm. That was a bop. That was a bop. That was a. That was a buff, man. I definitely want to hit replay on that. Like, immediately, instantly wanted to hit replay on that record, man. Such a strong, simple bounce. Like, just straight to the point. Straight. Like, it even glanced around. Very simple structure, like I said. And the outro, man. That guitarist was there. Uh -uh, let's go. Guitarist, man, you know. When it comes to, like, when it comes to finishing touches to an Afro vibe, 
it's become a thing recently in the last couple of years people are tapping into like it's what just one of those high life elements you know that people are bringing into they almost do this nice um runs with their guitar man and it's such a nice taste of it especially on this song man it was such a nice taste of a guitar towards the end but yeah back to bougie man this the melodies the flows that we, he was pouring out there he was switching it up towards the second verse i love that he did that man like his, his records don't seem too over calculated there's no there's no like there's no record science to it you know it's not as like it's not it's not doing too much it's basically what i'm saying and it's simple and it's tasteful it's, and i really messed with the first verse by the way there was a line where he said um there was a series of lines where he was like oh my in the first stage i made mistakes i swear for knowledge i, I sacrificed my fears can you imagine so he was going into um he was going into spaceship to obviously to gain more knowledge to be under the wings of one of the greatest artists in the african stage right now and he goes on to say and i stand right here i say i'm better and you can't compare that's solid man that's solid that's a solid takeaway for him to say like almost i have lent i have come out the spaceship deal even though it didn't go necessarily how he wanted he still took so much out of it and that's a good that's a good way to look at it experiences hindsight you know especially when it comes to he didn't necessarily make all the necessarily like goals that you're going in there like but coming out of it you you recognize that you've grown it was a testing period for you as an artist and you've learned so much now like if you're going to walk into another deal now you are you're walking in there with more leverage you're walking in there with more wisdom and experience like right now he's obviously in a better place than he was with before signing with Buena. And, and like, he's just going to take off. It's all, it only gets better from here, man. It only gets better from here for Buju, man. I definitely need to give this more a listen. It's it's going to be on the replay for sure. I see the appeal that this song has. It's very simple, the pu- very punchy, very punchy melody to it. Loved it, man. Let me know what you guys think about this record. And, um, yeah, do you, where do you guys see Buju at the end of this year, man? Do you think he's one of... It's gonna be on your top ten list this year for um for hottest artists. You know, I, I think he's already making his way up that list for sure. Um, let me know what you guys think about it, man. Thank you so much for watching. And again, definitely go check out the new Soaking Gary with episode that I have a new baby. Yes, I also have playlists in the description and more content coming here and the other channel as well. So keep you locked. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.